Anthony. <laughs> Fighting the fight, Patriot down here, night after night with Border Network News and Blue on the other side. The work you guys are doing is just, it's, it's to be commended. I appreciate it, Ben. Thank you. And, and you know what, for those of you guys that are just tuning in, my name is Conservative Anthony for Border Network News, and I'm not sure if Ben has actually already... I haven't even said it. I haven't oh, said it. Oh, okay, great. Well, I'm going to share it for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we want to let you guys know that uh, we will be taking a Patriot Warrior Caravan, guys, out to Chiapas and Guatemala with eight Patriots that all of you guys are very, very familiar with, myself and this guy included, Oscar, Melinda, uh, Marjorie, and uh, Political Avenger. Um, um, oh, I, I, it can't come to mind right now, but we're all going to be out there, and we're going to bring you guys first-hand coverage of really of how sad that there is no border security out in Mexico, guys. There's it's a joke. open borders, and we're going to prove it to you guys here in the next coming weeks. We're going to be taking that trip out there, and I'm really grateful that this guy's going to be able to go out there with us, now. and it's going to be good stuff. You guys want to tune in. Yeah. So if you guys are watching this, donate, 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 because it is expensive, and really, guys, we, we don't make much off of any of this our hearts are invested in this and you all see it day in day out we are dedicated and we're for our country and we appreciate all of you guys and support this guy send them some money we need it so we can go out there and bring you guys first-hand coverage we're spending millions of dollars millions of dollars on illegals a couple of bucks on people that genuinely care about your country is a very, very small investment for the sovereignty and for the for the good sake of our country. So thank you guys. We appreciate you. And here's Ben. Hey, and you know, you know, it's interesting you say that, and I appreciate it, man. Um, is that I was told that by Border Patrol today. I'm just this thing is just giving me nothing but mine too, bro. I got it. I'm just gonna I'm gonna go old school. And just handheld it or handhold it. Try and keep it from shaking. That's not bad. That's old school right there. This is how I started off doing it. Just holding it with my hand. <laughs> Mine's giving but me a hard this time. This is, I was told, I was right here earlier today, and I was told by Border Patrol they support what we're doing. You just heard that Border Patrol tell him, and I've heard multiple Border Patrol agents tell you, we've had them to us and drive and say, we watch what you're doing. We can't say it. Thank you for saying it. And the mainstream media who have budgets of millions of dollars are ignoring it they're complicit mm -hmm. they are part of this absolutely if you want real citizen journalism to continue activist journalism and god bless america's voice news for bringing me on and letting me have a, a platform there absolutely. if you want to see this happen uh, to continue to grow you got to support it the things that you like that, that the people that are doing the things that you you agree with and you support and that are actually telling you the truth you got to support it so god bless you man absolutely I totally appreciate it. this is <laughs> this is it this is it's actually a really slow night so far. We're going to post up here for a little while and just show you. This is where... This is literally, guys, what you guys are seeing right here, this is Mexico, okay? This is Mexico, and there is not one single barrier, my friends. And remember, for all of you guys that have been with me for a while, look at, there's the buses. Those neon colors. Remember I would tell you guys, oh, the neon colors, the neon color lights, the neon color lights. There they are. I told you guys, we've been telling you guys and we've been proving it time and time again, but look at this. This is complete, complete open borders, guys. I want to know, where is the military? Where is the military that was supposed to be down here guarding all of this? Why, why, why are, why is Mexico playing us like dummies right now, guys? Why is Mexico right now playing us like dummies? Look at this. Look at that. This is unreal, guys. Why? This is a brand new structure, by, structure, by the way, guys. This, this particular fencing has been up for about five months now, okay? And it literally literally just stops right there so anybody and everybody that wants to come literally yeah. will walk down here will literally walk down here 
and 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 Scura, Mexico is literally playing us for suckers, guys. This the, the, they're lying to our president. It's clear. It's evident. Earlier earlier today, Ben was out here, and there was two military gentlemen from Mexico out here guarding supposedly the border. But people, as Ben was actually out here live, the two military men that were out here, supposedly three, three of them, yeah, three. okay, to their credit, a whole, a whole three, a whole three of them. One was down here, and the other two were up there. While Ben was recording out here, showing you his audience all of this, in a group of about twenty people, literally just caravan right across through here, right here, right here. Right here. You can actually see their footprints still in the, in the ground, right there. It's, uh, you know, just track. I mean, it's just, it's full of tracks. People all day coming up through here. Look, what, what, what good does this do us, guys? Really? It, it looks nice. It looks intimidating. But all you have to do is literally just walk around it. Right over there. And you're good. Yep. So, so, they get, so they get dropped off right down here. The, the, the buses, the Border Patrol said they have buses come all day. No, these, but these, these buses, bro. Yep. These buses here in a little bit. We, I'm guarantee you, we'll find a bus or a van that pulls in right here, Ben. Right there, right off the street. Yep. They will stop right there, literally right here. And four, five, ten, twenty people come off and then just walk across like nothing, like if it's just a day in the park for them. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Because they know they get over here, they get on this side. And they've got the taxi service waiting for them. Thanks to Democrats and weak Republicans, Border Patrol, who wants to be able to do their job, have become a daycare service and a taxi service. And they're going to these shelters where people are getting better treatment than they've ever had in their life. And then they're being told they're in concentration camps by uh, idiots uh, like AOC. I, 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 apparently, you're, you're able to now walk yourself if you want into a concentration camp, into a right. first world right. concentration right. camp. These people are walking, <laughs> AOC calls them concentration camps, but we have people getting in line to come over here to join the camp. The difference is in these concentration camps, they cook them food mm -hmm. rather than cooking them. They get haircuts, they, they're they, well they fed. Everything. Guys, they, you know, I don't even, I, I don't mean to make light of it or a joke about it, but seriously, AOC, shame on you, that's disgusting. Six million people died because of the Nazis that we fought to defeat. And now the same fascists, the leftist fascists, like yourselves, are calling what Border Patrol concentration, the Border Patrol does concentration camps. You are the fascist, AOC, Bernie Sanders, the leftists that are trying to silence the truth, that are trying to silence anyone who disagrees with them. You would just as soon see me and Anthony in a literal, a real concentration camp. But that, the point is they get away with it because nobody calls them out on it. Nobody calls them out on it. And, and that's why we're out here, guys. We need to start standing up for our country. Everybody needs to get off their butts. And we all stress it religiously to all of you guys. But the time is now, guys. 2020 is around the corner. If we continue to allow this to happen, think about it. Texas... Ted Cruz only won against Beto O'Rourke by 200,000 votes scary, with the thousands of individuals coming in, not just through El Paso, because sometimes we will have up to 2,000 individuals just from one county alone coming into our country. Now, imagine that on a scale where these people are coming through your whole southern border down here on a daily basis. And these people, within 30 days of them being in America, they are able to legally go to the DPS and get driver's license or ids that's not a joke i've shown you guys videos of me walking into dps and a bunch of people that don't have any valid ids are there with their immigration or ice papers and they are getting their ids the minute that people here in texas get their ids or driver's license they are being registered to vote the same thing is happening in california the only reason they passed the motor voter laws <laughs> was to get, to get them to vote exactly that's it over a million people in california are now uh registered to vote because of the, the or uh, over a million have received driver's licenses which means as it, they had to check the the mark saying mm -hmm. i am not uh, qualified to vote you have to you have to check that well guess what 
the vast majority of them don't check the box. And let me and tell you one thing. Automatically registered to vote. New York just approved all of these people. I, I, if I'm not mistaken, yesterday they've just approved David. for a bunch of illegals out there yep. to go and get registered to get a driver's license. Yep. That is an attack. And if you don't consider that an attack or an invasion, I don't know what you will. Yep. No, it is. It's crazy, man. Totally crazy. All right, guys, I'm going to uh, I'm going to get a little drone action. Out. All right. So I'm going to end this. If uh, something exciting comes, go to Conservative Anthony's page. And you're live right now? Yeah, I'm live. I'll be live. Go to Conservative Anthony's page. Follow that. Keep watching on that. I'm going to get a little uh, extra footage. So stay tuned. And if it's super cool, we'll have it on the drone and we'll have it live. So, <laughs> all right, guys. Love you guys. Stay tuned. Keep standing up. Stay tuned for tomorrow. I might be back. Who knows? Yeah, you will. He'll be back. No, 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 no. I don't like Stay tuned. Tonight. Again, if you support what we're doing, support Conservative Anthony, support myself, Frontline America. If you want to see more of the wall build, they're all separate. You choose what you want. We've been out here for three days supporting WeBuildTheWall.us. Keep doing that. We want to see this wall stretch all the way across. But it's time for American people to stand up and start supporting the people that are actually fighting for this country. So you pick where it goes, but God bless you guys. Keep standing up. I'll be back. Look at that. Literally, like I said earlier, this was built five months ago, friends. And all we had prior to this uh, fence structure. Bit, so okay. They're over there. They're not okay. seeing us. A little element of surprise. Yeah. This fence was put up five months ago. Uh, we literally only had uh, some. Look at there's Mexican police flashing their light at us. And it's kind of dangerous here, guys, because we're literally exposed to potentially any gunshots or we're, we're very we're pretty exposed here, guys. And those that I'm sorry, that was not police. That was military in a truck. So essentially, this is pretty dangerous for us to be out here because any crazy individual on the other side can shoot over here. And which the border patrol said they used to have it all the time. Yeah, there's be shooting at them in, in San Diego, especially mm -hmm. there's shootings and it's gone as far, Ben, as our county courthouse has been shot at from Juarez. Uh, bullets have gone in there as well. It's crazy. Now, don't be giving anybody ideas. Yeah, so that structure, like I said, was built five months ago, guys. And the fact of the matter is that it just, we, prior to that, we had a chain link fence with barbed wire. Now, this construction went about. This is not an actual Trump wall. This money was set aside since the Obama administration, but it was never put into effect. So it was never built. Uh, so technically it's not part of Trump's wall, but I do believe it was the Trump administration that got, uh, that lit fire under these individuals' butts and which this came about. Unfortunately for us guys, it's, it ends right here. And if you're just a citizen, just like myself, uh, for the most part, you will never be able to come out here and, and witness this and see this for yourself because there is uh, signs and, and law enforcement that prevent you from actually gaining access to this particular area. However, we have permission today from Border Patrol to be out here, so um, we're able to show it to you guys. One thing that I stress to you guys, for those of you that might not have caught uh, a feed that we did a couple of days ago, down down this way, guys... And you see the train in the background? There is an area that is lightly fenced with chain link fence. However, BNSF is not being responsible because they are using our border patrol agents as their own personal security. So this train that you guys see here behind me goes into America and into Mexico. It goes back and forth, back and forth, but when this train really goes into the train yard, we have our Border Patrol agents playing security for BNSF, and I don't think that's right. I believe BNSF should have 
private security out here watching their uh, their their uh, railroad yard. And aside from that, I feel uh, BNSF should have uh, more sophisticated technology. This is a multi-million dollar company, guys. They make millions of dollars, and for them to be abusing our our law enforcement agents that are being paid for by our tax dollars i feel that that is very very wrong and that's something that definitely needs attention and all of you guys should be appalled at that because like i said multi-million dollar company uh allowing illegals to go through there on a daily basis why because the 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 one border patrol truck that will be sitting out there at the entrance of the rail yard as soon as there's two three individuals walking through here he has to rush over here tend them take them and then that other area for the railroad yard stays unprotected and lots of individuals and i've shown you guys on multiple occasions more individuals run in through the rail railroad yard and it makes it nearly impossible to get them out of there because there's so much trains there's so many places for them to be hiding so it's a total abuse on on on, on this company that has millions of dollars and those are the buses that I would stress to you guys uh, months ago when I would tell you guys the neon colored lights, the neon colored lights coming down the coming down the mountain. Those are the buses that go drop off all of the individuals by uh, Monument One and Monument Two, guys. They all have neon, most of them have those neon colored lights. And even strobe lights, some of them. I believe so too. BNSF should be charged for aiding and abetting and even harboring uh, these individuals because nobody is holding them accountable. If it be a private citizen that had a gate open like that directly where in individuals were flooding their property and making their way into America, I guarantee you the government would probably come down hard on them. However, since it's a multi-million dollar company like it is, and let's remember one thing, guys. BNSF is one of the biggest donors for Veronica Escobar. So Veronica Escobar is not going to stand up to them and vice versa. So we Oh, let me remind you, BNSF also donates, BNSF also donates to the governor of New Mexico. Ooh, look at that. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Deborah. How y'all doing? Michelle, how you doing? What's up, Greg? Kim, nice to have you guys on here. Share, share, share. Share, share, share. Uh, your way of helping me tonight is get this video out to at least four or five different groups with the highest reach that you might be a part of. Go, 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 go. Now, Ben is is out here doing his thing as well but in the distance i will point you guys to another little drone that's out here look at that that's another one that's up here So there's multiple drones in the sky, guys. Oh man. How you doing? Tenemos permiso del Border Patrol. We asked for permission. I'm a frontline American. 
Yeah, we, we asked for permission. The one that's sitting right there. So we, I was out here. I was, I was out here earlier today. Yes, sir. Go any further where you're at. You go over there. Oh yeah, we won't. Go to no, we'll, we'll come back over here. We're, We're about to leave. To about yes, sir. That's right. why we have permission. Yeah, we'll we'll stay on this side. So that is BNSF police, guys. That is the guy that is really, really uh, anti us being out here. Uh, BNSF is not a friend of the American citizens. BNSF is not our friends, guys, especially that gentleman. I respect law enforcement, but that gentleman is not for America. He does not want us over here showing you guys the truth. Uh, I've had several encounters with the man, and he is not friendly. Ben tried to shake his hand. He just said, I don't shake hands. You know, come on, bro. We're all supposed to be on the same team. We're pro-law enforcement here. We support what y'all do. And then you're out here treating patriots that are being a voice, essentially being a voice for him, because he, he really can't say anything. He might lose his job, but we're out here showing the American people the truth and he is upset he is so upset right now that we're out here showing you guys uh, what is happening over here so uh, it's unfortunate that that man has to uh, act and treat us like that they're saying we should have asked for asylum <laughs> you know what's the craziest part guys that that man will arrest us and want to throw us in jail for being out here showing you guys this we're not breaking the law. We're not being disrespectful or, or malicious or anything like that. But he won't take any of these individuals that are trespassing over here to jail. He will not. And they're trespassing on their property, but he'll take American citizens to jail, but he will not take all of these individuals crossing over here without permission to jail. How ironic is that? SF guys, it's BNSF. Oh, nice. Yes, I agree. We we do get targeted, guys. It's it's pretty sad. It's pretty sad when. Uh, individuals like that want to harm or jail patriots but yet you've got thousands of individuals coming here on a weekly basis right here I'm, I'm talking thousands guys thousands on a weekly basis and not one of them has been arrested for trespassing but don't let it be a, 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 a an American citizen because he'll drop the hammer on you <clears throat> He's coming back, guys. Okay, he's coming. He's getting off the car now. When they give us uh, authorization, just, they, they don't they don't have jurisdiction to give us authorization to come out here. Not those tracks. Over at the entrance, uh -huh. as you cross there, I explained it to you. The oh, signs are there. Yeah, but that's why I, I figured yeah. we would ask. We, were I, I, we weren't trying to disrespect your job no, or we were disrespect out there and they you. They invited us over. So I was over here earlier this morning shooting for it to show that what's really going on over here. We're just trying to bring awareness. Yeah, he said we can come back this evening. But there's a big liability. Anything happens to you, it's not on us, the railroad, because you've already passed it. 
It's on Border Patrol now. Yeah. Okay. We, we won't be out here much I'm longer. Be here. Like another 10, 15 minutes. We're about to wrap it up. Next time you cross over, you let us know. Absolutely. I will make but sure to ask you again. Cross the legally, and you can go to jail. Okay. Can we, is there a contact? Is there a contact that we can reach out to you? You have to go to the office over there. Okay. We'll stop by. Thank you, sir. He is a BNSF police officer, uh, but he is really upset that we're out here right now, guys. <laughs> you know, he might just. He might have security, but... You gotta pray for the guy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, I see him constantly out here. Uh, he knows I'm not a troublemaker. He knows I don't uh, cause any kind of disruptions. He sees me on a daily basis, guys. On a daily basis, he sees me out here. Be scouts. Those guys that you guys are seeing can literally just walk across. over railroad tracks if there's an easement i don't know it's just there's two big signs right there that i know says, but well but i was on the other side when i got invited in today yeah 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 and uh, they said to come back so yeah yeah what's up alan nice to have you on here hey. bud by the way leanne fleming is cool mm -hmm. so just she she asked me to email you okay she got she got labeled as a troll or as, uh, but she's cool. She's like, she's neighbors okay. with me. Oh, okay. Here, so. All right. All I right. told her I'd tell you. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. She might have got blocked by an admin. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she emailed me and I, I kept forgetting to tell you. <laughs> Leanne, I got you. I got so you. I told him, Leanne. I told him. I got you, Leanne. I'm sorry about that. There you go, guys. We're gonna wait out for a few more minutes, see if we get some action. Uh, this I'm particular. Shot. It's night, man. Yeah, I'm this is. I'm wondering if they got word though, too. But I'm shocked, man. This is like the deadest I've ever seen. It. Yeah, it's actually. I'm surprised. I walked up here and there was no action, guys. The fact that there was action in the daytime, yeah, not they... at night, that's a shock. See guys how easy it is just to cross. It's not even rough terrain, guys. These look, look at all those footprints. Those are all footprints. That's how easy it is just to walk across. Boom. You walk across, you have everything. Welfare, medical, housing, education, everything free. Everything free, not a worry, not a worry in the world. American citizen taxpayers got you. American citizens cannot afford their health care. American citizens cannot afford uh, their their medicine. A lot of them are, are struggling to meet and to, to to get ends meet. But you have this area right here giving everything away. Everything is being given away right here. To whoever wants it, come and get it. It's free. Come take it. It's not fair. It's not fair, guys. There's, there's 
there's definitely action. There's always action, huh? The thing is that every single sector, like this area is controlled by a, a group of coyotes. Right. So you're not allowed to cross through here without their permission. We got these guys that walk down walking. Yeah, 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 yeah. They got they got it down. They're they're watching it. This this area, guys, is is very well controlled. When people say they pay a coyote, believe me, these coyotes are out here watching this whole area, guys. Not one single person comes through here without paying their quota or without paying a coyote. That's a fact. This is all orchestrated and 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 ran by the cartels, guys, because it's clear as day if it wasn't, people would just be walking through here like nothing. But since it is controlled by the cartel, and look, those those are the guys that are watching the spot. You saw you, you see them walking back and forth. These are the guys enforcing, enforcing and making sure that nobody is crossing through their territory. They're just guarding their territory. No one is allowed to cross on any section of the southern border without paying the people that are running it. keep looking over here so just let's just analyze this okay we have the cartel over here watching making sure nobody uses their smuggling route because that's what this is a smuggling route because they smuggle illegals right through here Okay, and then you have a multi-million dollar company like BNSF that is just sitting on their hands allowing this to happen. Uh-oh. Did we got action over there? right there guys let me tell him real quick I'm running for Congress by the way gotta tell him gotta tell him by the way I'm running for Congress to help you all out I'm tired of this woman doing such a disservice to our country so Aguero vote for Aguero Okay, yeah, better be on the hard ticket. Absolutely, buddy. If Republican. A, you already know. Ticket, Absolutely. Shove it. <laughs> oh, man. He's awesome. He is awesome. 